What's up guys, Mikey in the building. Hey, I want to go over um, this LSDI trade that I took. Uh, out of the open, I didn't really see a lot of names that um, kind of fit my style of trading. So when I traded LSDI, uh, it did have that weak open. It had some absorption going on over here. Sellers got absorbed and then there was no more follow through down here. All right. Uh, when I take ads off the book, I like to see some bidders step up and that's what we got right here. We had a 50k bidder right here that started to accumulate in the 30s and then added into the 32s once I didn't see any breakdowns on this one. Now, unfortunately, this is a different type of setup, right? When I was uh, reviewing on Sunday uh, with the guys in my room and uh, a few other people, I talked about structure. Okay, structure is super important. So, real quick, I'll uh, break down the structure on this one since this one already done its move in pre-market and made a high of 6419s this had structure that it needed to reclaim so I always draw out some uh, intraday breakdowns or pre-market breakdowns and kind of have these zones and run them all out right so this is an important breakdown area and this is also another important breakdown area on high volume now mind you all right mind you that uh, we had open market volume come in right and then we had volume peaking out over the volume that it took to make highs in pre-market all right so that was a big sign right there that these guys were getting absorbed and I'll show you what it looks like on the book over here as you can see there's a uh, 379,000 shares and of course when you zoom in you're gonna see um, multiple orders go through this right I have 101k right here uh, 12,553 K right here okay typically what I would like to see on the book is when you have some buyers step in like this and kind of remove the liquidity on the offer side right here uh, I would like to see some follow-up bidders that did not happen alright so there's a couple chances to uh, pretty much get out or take profits of up against that that zone right this zone right here at open all right, you know, if bidders would have stepped up, um, this is a lower float. I, I, I feel like things would have been cranking, but it was a uh, couple signs. This is a big sign right here when volume came into this one, uh, and there's no more follow through. This candle right here, uh, 956, and also um, over here at 950. Once this volume came in and there was no more follow through, uh, looking left, we had our five minute candlestick two of them almost which pretty much met up with our five minute volume down here it was important to understand that and then say hey maybe I need to take my profits and bail and kind of leave this one alone for now all right um, view view is another one I traded I'll break that down um, in the next video but I do want to show you guys uh, another absorption candle right here buyers these buyers got absorbed and then no more bidders followed through or any I didn't see any book flips things that I talk about in my previous videos so the focus was on this one uh, I don't like to jump around so uh, yeah there was other things that ran there's other opportunities but that's okay right um, you get a lot of experience when you just stick to a few tickers uh, particularly just one at a time right and uh, uh, we either win or we learn right so on this one I saw a couple opportunities where buyers did step up but they got absorbed and there was no bidders stepping up and then again for the second push uh, uh, no more bidders really stepping up on this one and then they started to uh, the appetite on the best offer up here there was pretty much no buyer step but up right here so this is where you you know this is where I personally take profits in these areas and uh, try to hold some for a little longer and then pretty much bail uh, on this one you know again right here same situations all right, more absorption and no follow through. Okay, uh, held a small core on this one, uh, and then eventually took it all off once uh, we didn't really make new highs right here. And then there was just more buyers getting uh, uh, absorbed right here. Okay, as you can see, the bidders are coming in, and then they are removing the liquidity on the book right here, here, and here. All right, super important to see, understand. On this one, you can just see this one coming all the way down. And uh, makes new lows almost 
and then consolidate sideways later. Uh, this is pretty much all I got right here for LSDI. Um, I stuck to the dailies that I kept trading, that I keep trading, right? I stick to um, things that I look for on the book. Uh, unfortunately, this one didn't work out, but I uh, did get a nice little pop from 30. I uh, ended up having a 32 average, snag some 30s, and then snagged up some 32s. And was still able to make a, a decent amount of profit into 38s. I didn't get no 40s off up here. Um, all 38s, 37 scales for me on this one. Uh, you know, of course, I'm looking at this trying to break out and I'm sitting there watching it. And then, uh, unfortunately, it pulls back and I'm like, okay, well, let me snag some because um, this was a lot of market volume coming in and then there was no more follow through. Super important to um, understand on the book, right? So, just like I, uh, down here, right, I look for absorption right here. Sellers kind of come through, uh, they remove the liquidity, and then selling kind of stops and a new bidder steps in right here, you know. There's uh, it's just the same difference, right? Of seeing this up here and then starting to see these examples right here and saying, Hey, enough is enough. Uh, let me take some profits, let me lock some in, right? Now, it would have been phenomenal if this would have just kept going over even right here and uh, retest these uh, offers up here, right? But uh, that didn't happen, and that's okay. Uh, the more and more experience that I keep getting on the book, and that you guys can get on the book, you'll start understanding when you start seeing a lot of absorption. And no follow through, no bidder stepping up to the plate, and then how they're auctioning the price back and forth on the best offer, best bids, and how they're uh, putting up bids right on the current order book and offers on the current order book. All right, all right, guys, much love. I'm gonna break down and view next. Peace out.